Be the week Bitcoin breaks all time highs. Wow, Bitcoin broke down exactly yesterday as we talked about to our absolute lowest target in the short term, though, of about 17,000, almost $500 per Bitcoin is currently bouncing up to this, this extremely key level. If Bitcoin is able to break back above the heart line of this current ascending channel here on the four hour up to this price target, guys, there's a good chance that we will be heading higher to an even more insane price target. And as well at this very moment, there is still bullishness left for Bitcoin. As on the daily chart, we bounced exactly down to our parabolic line. And on this six month ascending channel, we bounced exactly down to this level of the channel for support. The next two levels are absolutely massive. And guys, we're gonna be talking about these whale clusters and what it will mean for support for Bitcoin on the way down if we continue a pullback. And as well, Bitcoin is here to stay, guys. This is absolutely insane news that we wanna delve more into. Welcome back to Colostomy Crypto, guys, where we and we delve into crypto. Guys, we have a huge episode for you today and we got the pullback we were talking about yesterday. Extremely interesting, but guys, we wanna talk about a scenario that is really starting to shape up on these charts and fundamentally within the space, not just with these charts. Guys, as you may or may not know, there's a fundamental difference between a bull and a bear market and we are extremely accustomed to bearish pullbacks, right? All the pullbacks we've been seeing over the last three years were in the wider or broader context of a bear market. However, uh, again, I think it comes very much as no surprise that we're in a bull market now. The very, very beginning early stages of a bull market. And with that being said, the pullbacks are different in a bull market. So we cannot come in with the same exact expectations that every pullback will be as drastic and as prolonged as we've been seeing and as we're accustomed to because of what we've basically lived through over the past three years. So in that sense, this is extremely eye-opening, extremely positive news because again, while there will always be pullbacks, bull or bear market, these pullbacks will be different and these pump episodes will be much different as well. Guys, and did you know if you turn this button blue, there will be a special surprise underneath your sheets when you wake up. And guys, for anybody interested in trading these markets, get up to an additional 610 limited time bonus when you deposit on Bybit for experienced traders only and you help support the channel. So guys, let's actually start off with this news right here. So this is something that came out uh, this is just extremely huge. Again, this came out a day or two ago, but I want to talk about why this is absolutely insane, right? So obviously, younger generations are going to be much more interested in things like cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin, like all of the options you have in the cryptocurrency space over gold, right? Uh, and even some of the older generations are much more interested in crypto than they are gold. But again, this trend is just going to grow. People are not going to become interested in gold when you have something like cryptocurrency and when you see the prices absolutely moonshotting, which again, over the next year, we expect that trend to absolutely culminate massively, right? So uh, BlackRock's chief investment officer, okay, BlackRock, first of all, manages like trillions of dollars, I believe like seven or eight trillion dollars worth of assets, right? He said Bitcoin is here to stay and as well, uh, JP Morgan, which in 2017 was calling Bitcoin a scam, also said it sees considerable upside in Bitcoin as it better competes with gold as an alternative to currency, as an alternative currency. JP Morgan also says even a modest crowding of gold uh, as an alternative currency over the long term would imply doubling or tripling. So from this point here, doubling or tripling would be 40 to 60,000 US dollars. And guys, as we all know, that is probably the lowest price prediction that we have for Bitcoin over even like the next six months, not even over the next year, year and a half. And when people come out with predictions this early in a bull market, the only thing we've seen during those bull markets is we've seen those price predictions get blown out of the water. Meaning when people start making these bullish price predictions, on Bitcoin as it begins its actual bull cycles, we've only seen those price predictions get blown out of the water in the sense that they are much higher than what people originally predict. Obviously that's discounting crazy predictions like a million dollar Bitcoin back in 2020, I believe. I think John McAfee said that. Billionaire investors Chamath Palapataya, Stanley Druckenmiller, and Ray Dalio are also billionaires that have weighed in on Bitcoin's rapid rise, guys, which is probably one of the most interesting things about 2020 is the institutions getting in. And these institutions getting in and betting big on Bitcoin and being bullish on Bitcoin is the biggest fundamental difference between this bull run coming that we are just now starting and literally every other Bitcoin bull run that we've ever had. Remember, even in 2018, it was being called a scam, a fraud by these exact same people, right? And now they're saying the exact opposite. So where could the top be 
for things like Bitcoin and all of the cryptocurrencies combined when we don't have that opposition from these billionaires. In fact, we have their support, right? Many of these people are invested in cryptocurrency. So where are we going to top out uh, in 2020, 2021, 2022, when we have them on our side instead of against us, like we have had in every single previous bull market except this upcoming one? Huge. So the levels we're watching here, this is on the one hour chart for Bitcoin. We had that breakdown as we talked about yesterday. We made the video, I believe, right about here-ish. Okay, when Bitcoin was about 18,650 roughly, and we had a pretty big drop after that. Okay, this is on the hourly chart. So you can see over the next six to 12 hours, we had a pretty substantial drop all the way down to 17,600. Uh, and that is exactly where we already had this level. This is the, still the VPVR point of control on this one hour chart of uh, the most accumulated volume on this chart. So again, really good that this is bouncing. Um, and guys, like I said at the beginning of this video, one of the main differences here is that we're still gonna see pullbacks, but it's increasingly likely that we're gonna be seeing these pullbacks get bought up faster and faster, right? Uh, one of the key things I believe I saw in a video yesterday, I read in articles, uh, basically 100% of the newly minted Bitcoin is being bought up uh, daily, weekly, right? This Bitcoin that's being created is being bought up by these institutions, these hedge funds, these uh, billion dollar institutions, they're buying them, right? So basically what that means is a liquidity crunch, right? Where are you gonna get your Bitcoin? There will be a point in time, in my opinion, and many other people's opinion, where it will be incredibly hard to even find Bitcoin to buy. Guys, imagine a scenario like that. What would Bitcoin's price be when we reach something like that, where people are literally just trying to get a fraction of a Bitcoin? Guys, most importantly here on this four hour chart, this is the chart I'm really watching here uh, because to actually get a breakout, uh, what I'm looking for is to break 18,670 roughly, basically 18,700 just to be safe, uh, but it goes up every four hour candle here as uh, it is ascending here. But basically breaking above this level, it's gonna initiate, uh, in my opinion, a move back up to test the top of this, which will, if it does come up to the top, create a new higher high. Because again, this is ascending here. And this would be beautiful kind of this is the same thing we've been seeing over the past few weeks with these ascending price action uh, channels, whether you call it an ascending channel, whether you call it a rising wedge, whatever you want to call it. It has been doing this basically since the very beginning of October, right? Okay, this just ascending price formation and then a break up, ascending price formation, break up, ascending price formation. Will we get another break? That's the big question here. Or as we talked about yesterday, are we fizzling out? Okay, so the main thing we wanna see uh, is either holding support on the levels we just talked about, about 17.6, 17.5 in the short term, or breaking above 18.6, 18.7 in the short term as well. So basically what we do in this channel is gonna dictate uh, where the price action goes in my opinion. But guys, the parabolic structure has not been broken just yet, right? Uh, I've had this parabolic thing on here for like at least a week and this came pretty much exactly down to it in this candle. And this is actually kind of bullish too, this daily chart. This is a very long wick, right? Showing that buying pressure is very high, right? People are buying this stuff up. Uh, that's very promising as well. And it's similar to what we've seen in some of these other bounces as we come down to this parabolic structure before we just keep going up, right? So again, this has not been destroyed at all just yet, but there are the levels we wanna keep watching out for that if we do break, then we'll have to say, well, we, we may not break those levels. So again, ultimately guys, if we do break all time highs, I think it's very exceedingly likely that we'll actually go up to maybe 22.5 in the short term before, before cooling off and trading sideways. Again, we'll have to kind of reanalyze it if we get to those levels. It's still too early to say that, but uh, if we break 20K, I don't think we're just gonna stop right at 20K. Right now, the big level is 19. Uh, because as you notice, every time we break a big roadblock, we've been pumping like at least $1,000 in very, very short amounts of time, right? I mean, look at some of these candles here. Like this is a uh, 17.8 all the way up to 18.8. So that was an $1,000 candle. And then we had 16.5 up to uh, 17.8. So that was 1,300. This one was 15.9 up to 16.9. So guys, uh, when we're getting these breaks, they're basically right around $1,000. So 19 is the big overhead resistance right now. If we break that, uh, it's very likely we might shoot up straight to 20,000, but that is exactly when the rocket boosters could kick in uh, and shoot us a little bit past that. Again, up to, I think about 22.5 would actually make a lot of sense in the short term if we break that. But again, this is the key level we're watching now. This uh, oval shape that I have right here corresponds to this on the chart. Basically this, the, the line that I just moved, this area right here. This is on the four hour though, this is on the one hour. So breaking that is the key level. We're testing it right now, so it's very uh, key to note. Depending on what we do here is exactly what's gonna determine if we get a break up to do 19, and if we do up to 19, potentially up to that $20,000 daily pump that we've been seeing, 
And ultimately, guys, I think if that's going to happen, it'll be tomorrow or Tuesday, right? The beginnings of the week have been extremely bullish. That's where so much of the price action has been coming. And um, yeah, I definitely anticipate that. But another thing, pay attention tonight as the weekly candle closes, right? Only about four hours from the time I'm recording this, when we get that candle, we usually see a lot of volatility when we get weekly closes. And we're about four hours out as of right now. Um, and this will be huge. Again, this will be the highest weekly candle that we've had almost in history. It'll be the uh, like the second highest weekly candle that we've had in Bitcoin's entire history if we close where we're at right now. That could initiate massive bullishness in just you know five to six hours from when I'm recording this. We could see a pump even up to 20K tonight if we do get a very bullish close, kind of basically exactly where we're at right now, at least 18.5. And as well, guys, we talked about this curve being exactly where we found support. This six month ascending channel is exactly where we bounced as well, right? We've been talking about this chart forever. This is the very first level here. Again, bullish. This looks like a bullish candle right here, uh, right at this key level here, which was previous uh, resistance. And again, guys, this blue horizontal level is the very last level to break before uh, Bitcoin is in an absolute confirmed 100% blue sky breakout, right? This is where dreams are made, right? This is where lives are changed. And guys, as well, hourly map of unspent Bitcoins. This is this whale clusters, okay? 16.5, 16.2. There have been some massive levels, so watch out for those as support. And even going a little bit lower, some other massive on this chart, the biggest is about 15.5 and 15.2. So 15.5, 15.2, 16.5 and 16.2 are huge levels to look for to support if we end up breaking down here. Okay, because uh, everything we were talking about, the bullish scenario is if we get this very bullish weekly candle in just a few hours. But again, we don't want to just discount and say we're going to you know, go straight up to the moon. And guys, wow, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell and hit that like button. And guys, for anybody interested in trading up to 610 additional dollars for trading limited time still on Bybit below. All right, you guys, so I'm going to do this here for the giveaway on Twitter, and I will be going through the comments to see who's closest, and I'll be posting this on Twitter as well. So if you guys uh, want to speed up the process uh, and you guys know who had the closest to this number, uh, just shoot me a, a tweet or something like that, but I'm going to have to go through like 600 responses, so it might take a while.